Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hi guys, and welcome to our 13th episode, I think, of our Discord.chess serials. No, it's the 12th, I think. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. It's the 12th episode, cool. So today we're going to be making a Fortnite um, command. We've already got several videos about that. But those are all outdated. Um, the first thing you want to do is open your console and type in npm i fortnite. As easy as that. Enter and it's going to download the Fortnite module. Uh, keep in mind the module gets um, updated frequently. So um, if my npm loads, there we go. Uh, if, if the code doesn't work for you anymore, if, uh, just check our GitHub page down below or feel free to read the new documentation of this module. Uh, it's down at npmgs.com slash Fortnite and it'll show you how to do everything. Um, when you've got that installed, just like I have here, um, you need to get an API key for the for, uh, to get the Fortnite stats. So just Google Fortnite um, API key or Fortnite tracker or whatever. Uh, the first link is fine. You'd need to manage or create API keys. And right over here, you need you would need to create an application, fill in every information you got and then get the API key or token, whatever it's called. Uh, copy and paste that in your .n file in the following format and save the file. I won't because then my keys are gone. Um, let's create, uh, should we? Yeah, fun. Uh, Fortnite.js. All right, so we're gonna use uh, rich embeds again. Require discord.js. So, come on. Uh, const strip indents is require. Common tags. We're also going to be using const client is require Fortnite. And const Fortnite or FT is a new client process env fortnite so that'll get the api key from the dot uh, we're going to be using the default command setup once again module exports name is fortnite aliases aliases is ft for now description display some one's uh, stats there or the current store yeah the current store we're gonna do that in next episode because i think i'm i don't have enough time in this video or else it'll be both very boring and long async client message message arcs okay um so the platforms you can choose with this api are pc xbox one and playstation network so const platforms is pc xp1 and psn i'll zoom in the code for you so it's a bit easier to read for the mobile viewers um if now let's not do an if we'll do that in the store video uh, the last we're gonna let, get the last word of the command we used so just to see if it's equal to PC Xbox One or PlayStation Network so we can find by console so const last word is gonna be arcs arcs length minus one G 
to lower case. So this grabs the last word and to lower case is it. So we can compare it to one of our strings. Um, if no, uh, we also need to declare the platform we're gonna be using and their username. Username we are using in the command. Uh, if platform in oh, platform includes last word uh, username is going to be arcs slice so we're going to get from the start to the last word join it so it's a string uh, platform is going to be the last word then otherwise um, username will be arcs join and platform will be equal to PC. Um, now what we have to do is get the member from the Fortnite request module. So we're gonna do that by const search is await Fortnite user username and platform. And if no search username is found, then we're gonna send it an error message. Message channel send. Couldn't find that person, yo. And delete that after five seconds. Message delete, 5,000. Um, now the st statistics we're gonna be using is lifetime solo join squad, of course. So const lifetime is search stats lifetime solo is search stats solo const duo is search stats duo and const squad is search stats squad you guessed it um declare the embed Is a new rich embed. Set the color no no to the Fortnite purple 9D feeble 4 dbb Um let's set title search username and the platform search platform oh. Come on, I can't type again. There we go. Um, set URL is search URL. We're gonna set the footer to Fortnite stats. Message author display avatar URL and set timestamp. Because fun. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna display the uh, command in the following order. See where it is. Like this here. So solo duo squad and then new align lifetime. On mobile phones, it's gonna be underneath each other. Oh, this is a preview of the command for next video. Ha ha ha. So as you see, I'm very good here. 2.2, 2.7, KD, Epic Pro, cringe. Um, at field, we're gonna use you. Solo. And then strip indents. And true. So here is wins. Solo wins. Enter. KD. Boom boom. Solo. KD. And. Kills. Is gonna be. Kills. Haha, <laughs> you guessed it again. And then average kills per match is. Kills per match. Which is solo kills 
proper match. Wow, you guessed it again. That's how easy it is. Um, now I won't be typing the duo squad and lifetime all over again. I'll just copy that, paste it, duo, and duo. Copy and paste that over here. Copy that and paste it there. Squad. Squad. Beam, beam, beam. And now lifetime. Add field. Lifetime. And strip indents. And that's going to be false. So, wins is lifetime wins. KD is again no. lifetime KD and then kills lifetime kills. It's that easy, guys. As long as you just read the documentation and log whatever you're going to use. Um, I'll show you the result we're going to get when we log this. So let's do that here. Console. Log. Search. And we also got to send the message of course. Uh, send embed. Save your file. Run it. Everything launched. The bot is online. Let's see. Oop. Um, Fortnite or FD, both work. OS X, Fortnite OS X. There you go, it's working. Uh, Fortnite, Let's see if it doesn't work, it's gonna send the error message. So that's very cool. Um, fun fact if you press this link, it'll go to a website. And to the Fortnite Tracker uh, website. If it's gonna load, maybe. There we go. It's got every information about your Fortnite account, so that's very nice. Uh, I hope you guys like this video, and make sure to subscribe, like the video, of course, and feel free to join our Discord server down below if you've got any questions. Um, and keep up to date and see our next video to find out how to do the shop command which I'll show again here it is it'll show the weekly items and the daily items with a nice image over there so yeah see you guys next week